Hey Apprentice Squad, I'm trying something today and I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. I actually made these Wonder Woman van braces three years ago. I made the pattern, everything, filmed the whole process, but I never came out with the video. I made the pattern for thermoplastics, so you can see here, these are the ones I made and they turned out okay. You know, they're nice and shiny, but you can see with kind of doing the thermoplastic things, it's not very smooth kind of wonky a little bit here. Some of the things I did didn't work. So with Wonder Woman coming out, what I wanna do is try to use this pattern on what the foam and use a couple products that I've never used before to see if I can make these Wonder Woman van braces 10 times better. So stick with me, let's dive in and see how this goes. All right, so the first step in any build is gonna be finding your framework. That means uh, getting your pattern or determining what it is you're gonna be using to make it. Rather, whether that's making the pattern yourself or getting one that's already made. So I've done all the work for you guys in this one and I've actually already made the pattern uh, that you can easily just uh, get and print out and cut out and trace onto your phone. So what we need to do, we need to tape a couple of these pieces together, cut them all out and get them ready to be able to trace on our phone. Let's do it. So right now, this is kind of the organization stage, making sure I have my patterns all ready to go, tracing it out onto the foam, getting it cut out of the foam, and then uh, we'll move on to the, the next stage. Now, uh, for this, check out my video on how to transfer patterns to, to foam, how to transfer your patterns, and I go through the technique I use here to be able to open these up to be able to trace onto your foam. <laughs> All right, so I've got it all glued together here. We've got our score markings done, all our details ready to go. We're still in the glue and assemble stage here. All we need to do now is heat this thing up, wrap it around Olivia's arm to give it some good shape, and then it'll be on to painting. All right guys, guess what? We've heated it up, shaped it, we've added some kind of little, uh, some of those muscle details that you kind of see in uh, Wonder Woman's Van Brace there. And we pinched together this little under groove here for this uh, nice little edge. And this thing is ready to plastidip. 
So let's jump into the embellish stage, get this thing a sweet paint job, dirty it up, and make it look just like Wonder Woman's Vambrace. Here we go. Okay, so everything was going great. I was painting the Wonder Woman fan braces, doing the airbrush, it was looking super cool. And then my nose itched, lifted my hand up to rub my nose with the airbrush in my hand and the paint cup spilled out. My apron took a brunt of it, but it didn't save it from getting on my pants. <laughs> so a little change of pants and back to painting. Hopefully this comes out. It's done. Are you ready to see it? All right, guys, so news about the pants. It came out! Yay! So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below how you feel like this turned out. Uh, the pattern ended up converting just fine. Uh, the paint turned out awesome with the Platifex paint. I love the functional straps with the What The Foam and these button studs and the scoring lines with the Cause Tools cutter. I think it turned out really great. I was a bit nervous about using some tools and this paint that I've never used before. Had an airbrush for a while, but I think they turned out amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. The pattern is actually available uh, on our website. You can get it in the link below, or if you're a tier two patron, you can get this pattern along with all of our other patterns I've ever made or will make. So check that out. And uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Cosplay on my friends. See ya. <laughs>